Hi everyone, it's Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the first behind the scenes video uh, and just kind of a catch up really of what I've been up to over 2022. So first off, I'd wish that everybody had a lovely Christmas and a really happy new year and, um, you know, just for that to continue across the rest of the year as well. So I've been up to a lot of things, to be honest with you. Um, I've got a couple of giveaways. I've got the results of our giveaway competition for those um, masculine set cards we did and that was the double one sheet wonder so I'm gonna do that first of all um, I'm also just going to talk through again just some other things I've been up to what we've got coming up um, and yeah hopefully just kind of give you a little bit of insight into what has been going on so again first of all let's just reveal the winners of our two double one sheet wonder cards so I've got the sets here I have just kind of parceled them up, six cards in each, and you do have the envelopes to go with those as well. So all you needed to do to enter this competition was literally just leave a comment in the comment section of this particular video. So we had our entries. I was going to do my usual wheel, uh, spinning wheel uh, reveal, but to be honest, I've already picked the two winners. So I just did a number generator um, into Google, and that's how I picked them. So it was completely fair. You know, I didn't just pick them. It, I did it properly. Um, so our two winners is going to be Michelle Coffey and Joe Cliff as well. So if you both ladies want to contact me and then I can get your uh, addresses and get these sent out to you. So congratulations to you both. Uh, and thank you for everyone else who did enter this competition if you are interested maybe in more of these kind of sets and things let me know leave me a comment in the comment section down below I'm going to say that a lot throughout this video because I've got a few different things to talk about and things that I want you guys to sort of feedback give me some feedback get involved with so I'll try not to say it too much I'll maybe just try and keep it to the end but if you have any comments please do leave them down there so again the winners of these Michelle Coffey and Joe Cliff again please uh, just contact me and I can get these sent out to you so well done to both you ladies so I do have another giveaway at the end of this video, so please stick around till then. I've got five prizes that I want to give away, different magazine bundles and things, all kind of recent magazines. So yeah, please stick around to the end of the video uh, so I can show you exactly what I've got on offer and how you can enter that competition as well. So what have I been up to? I have been super, super busy. So going back just before Christmas, the week before, I was really poorly. Um, I really didn't get much done, to be honest, and then I had the week after Christmas off of work anyway and I really had all these plans to get lots of commission work done and sort of really get into 2022 with having you know my YouTube videos and everything kind of running smoothly as I wanted it to again that first week before Christmas that really just knocked me off um so I was really unwell then going into um the middle of the week after Christmas uh was only really when I started feeling better so I really didn't get anything that I wanted to get done so I've still had a lot of commissions to get done this month um I've just finished one today actually that's why this video is going up a little bit later and there wasn't a video yesterday just because that was quite a big in-depth uh, commission that I had to get finished but now I've only got a couple and I've got a little bit of time for those so what I'm what I don't want to happen is then I'm doing all this other stuff and then I still can't dedicate any time to you guys here on YouTube I still really want to create my videos for you guys and you know have them be really good so when I first started doing the commissions I was just filming what I was doing because I thought it would make you know just a really easy video if I needed like an extra video to pop in and you guys could really see the kind of cards that I've made that you are now seeing in the magazines themselves but I have kind of read the feedback on those videos I think they might have been maybe four or five of those videos I have seen the feedback and I really do appreciate it if it's not the kind of videos that you guys want to see that's absolutely fine uh I, so I haven't done that moving forward sort of recording any of my commission makes um and again the idea was it was just supposed to be an extra video on top of the ones um that I was going to create but to be honest they ended up uh kind of being then my substitutes because again I was uh, doing my commission work wasn't feeling very well before Christmas and all that stuff they ended up just being kind of a lifeline so I just had videos that I could put out there but again I've read you know your feedback without the music you like it with the voiceovers and things and obviously not necessarily sped up that quick um so I'm not going to be doing those anymore I have got footage that I've filmed but never actually put together so 
I might maybe make a video from that and then do the voiceover and things, but, or I might just scrap it. The products that I've used in those videos that I haven't shown you where I've done the commissions, I still have those products. So I think I might just make new videos showing you how to use those uh, products. So I have heard you. So again, thank you so much for leaving me that feedback. Again, thank you for taking that on board. We're gonna adjust that then for the future. But what I really need to do is kind of get my commission work. I need to get a better schedule for myself. Obviously I do still work, work full time at the moment. This isn't, you know, I don't have all the hours in the week to be creating my cards and my videos and things. So, you know, it's, it's difficult to kind of juggle things, but yeah, my commissions, I've got, you know, a couple now that's gonna be in the future. So I've got some time. So hopefully you are gonna see, you know, your regular, two to three videos a week you know card making the magazines and all that good stuff that we normally look at so the next thing i want to talk about is my own product so i'm super excited uh, a couple of weeks ago i have put my designs in they got uh, approved to be manufactured so as i'm talking now they are currently being manufactured i'm hoping to get them kind of the end of jan beginning of february because ideally i would like to put them on sale at the beginning of march um i am going to do a video when the products come in uh when they get delivered sorry uh i am going to create a video just showing you the stuff sets just in detail so you can kind of see them beforehand um and i'm going to create some samples and we can create some cards with it um sort of across the month and then hopefully then you know they'll be available uh for sale at the beginning of march that is what i'm hoping for but until i sort of get them back to really see what the time frame is going to be um but that is kind of a loose plan but again i'm going to create a video just looking at those showing you them and i'm really really excited i actually can't wait for them to turn up so i've created two a five stamp set so i think the set is six by eight inch um the actual stamp set itself uh so i've got two so we have the ultimate big words which is just bigger script words um they are obviously stamps i do maybe in the future want to create a die a coordinating die to cut those out as well that is going to be kind of the plan uh, with that if this goes well um and then my second stamp set is the ultimate sentiment builder and you have tons i think there was over 60 or there might even have been 70 stamps in that particular set uh, and you can just build so many different sentiments up uh, it's absolutely crazy how much we've got in there and i'm hoping it's going to cover all of the major kind of holidays so if you're just starting out crafting or you know you just want that one stamp set that's going to kind of do everything this is going to be perfect for you so definitely definitely look out uh, for that video of me showing you that first look at those products i am so so excited so the next thing I want to talk about is a previous video that I did and I just want to uh, bring it up again. So I did back in December a de-stash video and I had tons of products that I was de-stashing. I have sold, you know, bits and pieces from it. I've still got a lot of the magazine um, one and two pound, you know, stamps and die sets of things. So the freebies that come with the magazines, you know, spanning back quite a while. I've still, I had quite a few of them, to be honest. Um, I've still got quite a few of those left over. I have also got the two sort of big, big items still for sale. So I've got that Gemini Junior machine and I have that portrait three uh, sort of like digital cutting machine from Silhouette. Um, so I am going to reduce the prices because they are just taking up room. I'm, you know, I'm not going to use them. I want them to go to a good home. So the Gemini Junior die cutting machine. So this is just the machine. This doesn't come with the plates but there are some free dies and embossing folders in with that bundle. Um, that just came with it anyway. Uh, so that was £85 in my last video, um, but I'm gonna sell that for £70 now. So if you're interested in a Gemini Junior die cutter machine, um, I think they retail usually for about £100, uh, but I'm selling that for £70. If you're interested, you know, please let me know, get in contact with me, leave a comment uh, down below for that. And then that Portrait 3 machine, I had on sale for £160. I'm going to reduce that to 140. So again, I'm just not going to use it. I've got a brother scan and cut machine. Um, you know, it's not been taken out of the box or anything. Uh, so yeah, again, let me know if you want to um, purchase that. I have got lots of other sort of stamps and um, die sets as well. So again, you can go back to that D stash video and see what I had for sale on there. Um, in the comment section down below, you can see what has sold, what hasn't. I did have a few people um, comment and then not kind of get in contact with me. So. 
I do still have some stuff uh, lying around, but again, we've got some of the um, the Chloe stamps. I think I've got the uh, Craftoscope stamps. I've still got, you know, I've still got quite a bit here that I would like to de-stash. So again, either check that video back out or um, again, just leave me a comment in the comment section down below of this video and I can kind of go through what I've got left. Uh, or I can make a new video. You decide, let me know what you want me to do. If you want me to make a new video, I can do that. If not, then just go back to that previous video and sort of see what's in the comment section. So talking about other videos that I want to create for my channel. Uh, so the main one that I want to do is a new craft room tour. So I know it was only sort of back probably April or May last year that I did a craft room uh, tour video. That was when, you know, we'd first done it. We'd moved in and sort of done my craft room and things. And I, I sort of looked at more the element of how much it costs, you know, if, if you are setting up a new room uh, or a new space, it, is to look for maybe sort of cheaper options and things. I still stand by all of that 100%, but yes, I have upgraded now. There are sort of main reasons why I have sort of moved things around. Again, I have kind of grown into this space a lot uh, over the last sort of eight to nine months, really. And I realized that maybe my layout wasn't the best layout possible. I had a lot of dead space and it turns out I didn't have a lot of storage space. So that's why I have changed kind of the orientation of my desk. Um, yeah, I didn't have tons of kind of storage and things, which I probably would have introduced into my space eventually anyway, even with my old design. But do you think things change? Obviously, how I craft now is very different to how I was crafting back then. You know, I wasn't doing the commission work and, you know, I do quite a lot of commission work as well. Um, but yeah, I wasn't doing any of that backlash. So I didn't need as much space. Obviously, I was creating my YouTube um, videos for you guys that's not really changed to be honest but having designed my products now I'm thinking kind of further ahead you know places for things like padded envelopes and labels and um where my printer's gonna sit and you know things have just kind of changed again in my business the way I do craft has changed and I think that's okay then that you need to adapt your craft room to how you are working at that point so you know I did go to Ikea I bought some Calyx units and some desktops as well um so things have sort of changed a little bit so yeah I definitely definitely want to share that with you guys um so that is a big video for 2022 um again some of the commission products and things that I want to use and you know show you sort of different ways of using those products I've still got the we are memory keepers gift bag punch board to use as well um to be honest I put that in a drawer and I just forgot all about it so I absolutely uh, it's still on my board as a video to do I just absolutely haven't got around to doing it so I need to do that the One Sheet Wonder video seems to be quite popular. I think I've only done maybe three or four of those videos now, um, but they seem to kind of go quite well, to be honest with you. So um, I can do some more of those if you guys are interested in those kind of videos. Um, and it's a great way of using up your patterns papers. Maybe we could have a go at making our own pattern papers as well. Um, and kind of taking the basic idea of a One Sheet Wonder and kind of making it more, making it a little bit bigger um, and sort of bringing other elements and things in. Uh, as you may have just heard, um, Myrtle has wandered up into here as I'm filming this. So just in case you guys want to see, this is my Labrador Myrtle. Uh, she loves to get involved when I put the camera on to start recording, whether it's a voiceover or a video like this. She absolutely loves to get involved. So now she's on her bed, I can carry on. Uh, so yes, videos, I have got some ideas. Again, still doing our magazines, commission products, craft room tours, one sheet wonders, lots of things like that. Any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. So the last thing I want to uh, talk about is my giveaway from this video. So like I said, I've got five products that I'm gonna be giving away in this video. They are all magazines um, and all kind of, re you know, recent magazines as well, they're not old. Um, so basically what happens is if you are in a magazine with a commission, then you get sent that magazine very kindly of them. Uh, the problem I have is I still actually subscribe to the three magazines, three out of the four I still subscribe to. So I get my copy from my subscription and then they send me a copy. And if I've uh, done a commission using that free gift, like I did with uh, Simply Cards and Papercraft 226, so I've actually ended up with three sets of that free gift. So if I cancel my subscriptions, it means then that my videos are going to be a little bit later. So I don't know if that's really going to be an issue for you guys or not. Obviously, one of the big 
benefits was then that I was getting that magazine on subscription. So I was getting it a little bit ahead of when they go on sale in the shops. Then you could kind of see it and judge whether you want to buy it or not. So let me know again in the comment section down below. If that bothers you, maybe if it wasn't straight away, let me know. And then I might decide to cancel my subscription and then just buy it in the shops or wait for a copy to come through. So let me know. So I'm going to share with you now the five prizes. So to enter this competition, um, please just leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know which one of these you want to be entered for. If you want to be entered into multiple giveaways, that's absolutely fine. Just leave me a comment and say, please, can you enter me in for blah, blah, blah whichever of the magazines you want to be entered in for. And I will do another video um, next week. I will just wait a week again, like I did with my last giveaway, and I will reveal the winner. So let me show you what we have got. So the first magazine we have got, this is the first issue of the Memory Box Premium Magazine. So these um, box sort of kits here, this is by Craft Essential Series. This is um, number 126, but this is the first issue for Memory Box. So again, I did a commission um, using this set. So if I just show you the back here, that was one of my cards. So I think I only had to create three cards. I had quite a simple brief with that. Um, but again, so the papers and the products in this I have already got and I am planning to make a card uh, with that. I was going to do kind of a fancy fold or something that had a lot more patterned papers in it just to kind of use it up a little bit more. So I've got the papers. This comes with an embossing folder, a die set and a stamp set and then you get papers. Um, so that's papers, toppers and things like that in there as well. So again, this is the Memory Rocks Premium Magazine issue number one. One. So let me know if you want to be entered in for that one. So the next magazine we have got, this is Papercraft Essentials. This is issue 207. I'm not sure when these went on sale. I'm pretty sure I've seen another YouTuber, a uh, craft YouTuber, um, Dawn it is. I can't remember what her YouTube channel is called. Um, Shiny Silver Treasures, I think it is. I'm pretty sure I've seen her um, use this uh, or show it in a video don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was her. Um, so I had a couple of cards in here. This is um, the commission I did with the uh, Apple Blossom Flowers of the Year. Uh, so I used, I think I created three cards for this magazine. So in here, what you get is 130 plus digital stamps. So there isn't a kind of physical kit with this, um, but you get the free uh, sort of downloads uh, there. But then you do also get this bumper bumper book. This is is called the complete guide to stamping um loads and loads of different techniques in here um makes i think it's a big big collection of other commissions from the magazines maybe i mean again i'm not 100 percent sure um but there's absolutely tons and tons in here so again like the different techniques using different products but what you do get in this magazine in this middle section is is all of this patterned paper so this can all be pulled out um so you've got uh you know daisy patterned papers in here you've got background papers you've got different kinds of uh, florals you've got watercolor you've got polka dots there you've got blossom so a big big collection of patterned papers are uh, in there and again so in terms of pages, there's 130 pages in here. Uh, so again, that is going to be those two together. So like I said, this was issue 207 of Papercraft Essentials. Let me know if you want to be entered into that one. Next up, we have an issue of Die Cut and Essentials. We looked at this on my channel not that long ago. Um, this is issue 85 of Die Cutting Essentials. This is the one that came with the flowers and the foam. So we created quite a sort of um, basic card with ours just to show you how to use it. Um, but this comes with, you got uh, three dies, you got the stamens, and then you have the sheets of like funky foam as well. Uh, so again, I received this because I was uh, had a commission in this magazine. Uh, this was my, I think it was the Alt New um, Bountiful butterflies stencil and die collection or um set if you want so again i subscribe to this but i got the copy free for that so again this hasn't been opened you've got that free gift and you've got that magazine in there as well so again let me know die cut and essentials 85 
And then these last two are the same. So this is from, I'll show you this one first. So this is Simply Cards and Paper Craft. Um, and this was that last issue. Um, so this is the new issue. I think this was 226. Um, I can't see, but I'm certain it was issue 226. So I had a commission actually using the free gift that comes with this. And this is called a Slimline Spring Floral. You get that main uh, stamp set and then you get that Pink Fresh Studio stamp set there as well. Uh, so this comes with the magazine. So again, this hasn't been opened. You get the magazine, you get the um, normal stamp set and then you get that Pink Fresh Studio stamp set as well. So let me know if you want this copy with the magazine or we just have the copy on its own. So again, because I got sent this product to create my commission, uh, so I've taken, when I had then my subscription come through, I just took the magazine and put it into my collection with the stamp set I already had. That's why I've got one stamp set and then the magazine with the stamp set. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Again, leave me a comment in the comment section down below uh to you know for whichever ones that you want to be involved in uh for those giveaways and then we will reveal the winners so i always enjoy kind of trying to give back to you guys as much as i can um you know you guys do support me you comment you like you subscribe and obviously you watch my videos uh, and i'm really really thankful for you guys so i want to make sure that i you know give back as much as i can to um you know my viewers there so yeah please enter these competitions if you want it's not going to cost you anything i will pay for post and packaging as well well for you um and yeah there's nothing else I can really say but so I am actually coming up to my second year here on YouTube um and again I just want to say a real big thank you to everyone who has supported me I think now in terms of subscribers I'm about 2400 something like that just over um in two years I really couldn't have hoped for any better so I am super thankful for all of you guys again for uh, commenting liking um subscribing and watching so if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button. Um, I do have my goals for the end of the year and really just for this year moving forward. I've got my business goals. One of those is going to be, um, you know, the number of subscribers that I'd like to reach at the end of this year. And I would really, really love to get to 4,000 subscribers this year. I think that is doable. Um, but all that takes is for you guys just to hit that uh, subscribe button and that notification bell if you want to get a notification when I've uploaded a video. Um, but please, please, please help me reach my goal of getting to 4,000 subscribers. So I really, really appreciate that. But I think that is basically everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, again, lots of things to comment in the comment section down below if you are going to, if you want to be in with a chance to win uh, any of our five giveaways. Let me know about videos that you want to see. Um, let me know whatever else I've mentioned in this video that I don't remember. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. So I hope you have had an absolutely lovely weekend and I hope you have a great week ahead. Um, so that's going to be it for me today. So thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.